Commissioner as Melo, okay, take all the singer taste, Tama Miss Abbey, Zugal Zindab, a protea word, telecoli, and Clange, Xain, who goes again year to Logam, Vango, Ketulam, when Yaga twenty twenty four. Pagatu Gunya, a commissioner, members, Leo, go to Ketul Gazo, Longa, when twenty twenty four, Luzo, go to Lango, twenty, go Louis, twenty twenty three, can take an escaba, so no massa take a Luzo, go to Lango, twenty twenty, October, Glonia, twenty twenty three, can take an escaba, so Kalage, so Pancelo, Vota, Sizo, Vulas on a Pagat Gumplaz, the Shum in Shakalom Bill, Nomplaz, the Shum in Shakalolo, Yaguliz, Gunya twenty twenty three, is a Camus. Young also was Pansele who voted and got two balsas for Melan, which is the Benzes, which are the Pepeche, Besman, who says the Pansel who vote. An estimated 15 million people between the ages of 18 and 30, the so called born freeze, will make up one of the main voting blocks in the general elections of 2024, which are expected to be the most contested in a generation. An update on the 2024 elections was provided by the Independent Electoral Commission of Gauteng during a press conference earlier today at the Protea Hotel in Johannesburg. Tabo Masimola, who is the Gauteng Provincial Electoral Officer in the IEC, emphasized on the readiness of the Gauteng province for the upcoming elections. As a province, our readiness for the registration weekend that is set to take place on the 18th and 19th of, uh, of November. I can uh, confirm as the head of the province that um, we have recruited and trained about 8,400 uh, uh, registration officials. We are now sitting at 100% in terms of training. We are sitting at 100% in terms of recruitment. You also know that you cannot hold an election event without venues. So we have since contracted almost 99.9% um, of all our voting stations in the province. Masiho Shiburi, the deputy CEO for the electoral operations, you know, briefly discussed the processes and the procedures to be followed by the public for the duration of the elections. We are going to target those people who are affected by those changes in voting district boundaries to alert them that their voting districts and voting stations have changed. Where we encounter them, we re-register them on the spot where we do not encounter them, we will send SMSs and leave pamphlets asking them to come to a voting station on the 18th or the 19th or going online to update their registration details. The committee declared, amongst other things, that the first round of voter registration will take place between November 18 and 19, 2023, and the elections will begin on October 24th, 2023. Voters are urged to use the voter registration page and register to vote as soon as possible. For Soweto TV News, I am Zulibanzi Mazibugo.